Uh, next is item B, please. Item 6B, receive report and appoint council members to fill the 2021 mayoral appointments for the duration of 2021. And so based on the uh, council action on the 17th, there is a couple more months, as you know, we rotate usually in, in um, January. So city clerk, can you please share your screen with the vacancies? Thank you. Oh, a little bit more. Is everyone able to see that? Not all of it. Not all of it. I wanted to make it. There you go. I can scroll down as needed. Okay, I just wanted to make it large enough for the viewers. That's perfect. Um, thank you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, make appointments which need to be approved by the city council, of course. And uh, honestly, what I did was try to, basing on the balancing of responsibilities and the interest that I kind of heard expressed throughout the times on these topics. Uh, and if there's more questions as to why, I can certainly address it at, at that time when a person comes up. And so I'll go down the list. And if somebody can't um, fulfill or doesn't wish to, just let, let it be known. This is on the first one. You'll see the open space park and recreation facility. That's the Crestmore High School soccer field. And at this time, um, Council Member Hamilton, you, uh, I've been advised you can't serve on that um, due to the recusal. So I'm going to ask Vice Mayor uh, Marty Medina to serve on that. On the Recreation Aquatics Advisory Committee, I'm going to ask that um, Council Member Linda Mason serve on that. On the Homeless Committee, I'm going to ask that Council Member Salazar serve on that. On the San Bernardino School Roundtable and the San Bernardino Park School District, as they sometimes called the Executive Committee, I'm going to ask that Council Member Mason be on both. And for the Council Liaison, um, there's, there's one because of the fact of um, it was Personnel Board and Culture and Arts, but there's no, that's not personnel. So it's a couple months, and since uh, Councilmember Hamilton has one group, I'd like to appoint that at this time. So those are my uh, appointments, and um, any action by the council? I'm sorry, Mayor Medina, I do have one clarification. I'm seeing um, one more vacancy. I heard you say executive committee. Was that for Councilmember Mason, or was You're correct, the... Mason. You're correct. Okay. And then the SB school round table was Mason. that Mason. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mason, the last one, uh, nine, there you go. Okay. Now we're up to, we're up. Um, council member Mason. So I think that, and I may need the city attorney here. I may have a conflict with the SBPSD because my husband is on that one as well right now. I'm not. Sh I'm actually not not sure because I didn't know before. Right now, but um, we may need the city attorney to chime in. If it's not a conflict, I'm fine with it. And and, and the reason too, just if I may, uh, as the city attorney comes online, is that um, have I've had the practice as the mayor and the vice mayor, and you're going to be the vice mayor. So I thought, then that's going to happen in December, and then it would be, you know, advantageous to have it started now. So city yeah. attorney. To, to council members question. If I may, yes, uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you, Council Member Mason. So I think um, as we've discussed before about your participation in other items involving the San Bernardino Park School District, there is no financial conflict under the Political Reform Act of state law. So you, that, that is certainly not uh, an issue. Uh, there, there may or may not be a um, common law conflict just by virtue of the fact that your spouse serves on that board as well. But I think you previously determined that that does not present a conflict for, for you. And he likely has determined the same on his end. So I don't see any uh, legal reason at the moment why that would pr prohibit you from uh, participating on those unless you feel that the appearance of that conflict uh, is something that you would like to address. But otherwise, um, you know, and of course, the conflict decisions are always up to individual council members. Um, and, and my advice is only advice about that. You have, have to make the final decision. Uh, but so that's what I would say in terms of that particular appointment. Okay. And how? Okay. Are you okay with that, um, Councilmember Mason? 
Um, I'm just, I mean, we're in October. Um, and I'm thinking the same thing as far as the time frame and when they switch their uh, roles. I think it should be fine. I think it should be fine. If there's any changes, I'll, I'll speak to you, Mayor Medina. Okay. Thank you kindly. Um, you. Is there any other questions, comments um, from council? I would like to have this as a uh, motion in a second, just for the record, if that's uh, good with everyone. So I'll look for any action. I'll make a motion that we um, accept the, uh, the appointments as shown on the screen. Is there a second? Second. I'll second that. Okay. <laughs> motion made and seconded. Roll call, please. Council Member Hamilton. Aye. Council Member Mason. Aye. Council Member Salazar. Aye. Vice Mayor Marty Medina. Aye. Mayor Rico Medina. Aye. Motion okay. carried. Thank you.